you want to make some awesome banana bread, here is what you will need to get started. Three or four ripe bananas, smashed, so you get to squish them with your fingers. A third a cup of melted butter. One cup of sugar, can easily be reduced to a three quarter cup. One egg, beaten. A teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of baking soda. A pinch of salt and one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Let's get started. First, pre-set the oven to 350 degrees. Hey guys, it's me, I'm Kat and... Mommy Kat. Today we're gonna be making some banana bread. Blah. <laughs> banana bread for you. Yippee. Okay, so you need three or four mashed bananas. bananas. This one's still kind of frozen. <laughs> um, yeah, they have to be ripe bananas. They look pretty gross. This one's still frozen, so it's kind of good. cold. Really cold. Oh really my cold. gosh. Okay. Here, you do this one. And you just peel the bananas. I'm a, I'm a professional at peeling bananas. I need help peeling a banana? Call me. Then you just mash them up. I'm gonna break a piece off that. I need it. Ooh, that's cold. Burr, da burr, burr, burr. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, that's so cold. Oh it hurts. It's so cold. Oh my it's gosh. still frozen. Ow. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Mashed up. Beautiful. Okay, so now you need a third cup of butter. You hold that. Hold it straight. And then one third cup. I know I have a little bit extra, it's for greasing the pan. Okie dokie, now we dump that in. And then you can just put that on the counter right there. And then you mix it in. I will gladly do that for you. That's all mixed. I remember in grade two we made banana bread. Mm -hmm. And first we made banana bread without using the recipe. Uh -huh. And then we made banana bread with the recipe. Uh -huh. So everyone ate the. We cooked it up because uh -huh. they have like stoves in the cooking area. And in this dance class we were cooking it up and. um. We cooked up the bad banana bread first, well, the one without the recipe, and then the banana bread with the recipe. First, we did. Okay. Now we need one cup of sugar, but you can easily reduce, reduce to three quarters because um, a whole cup is a lot of sugar. Okay. Mm. Okay, you can continue with your story. So, um, we were just. We we ate the banana bread without the recipe, and we put a lot of baking soda in it, <laughs> like a lot, and um, we ate it, and even Mascara ate it, and we all ate it, and we're just like, ah. it's terrible. It's terrible, so we went to go to it's the, terrible. we went to the water fountain, mm -hmm. and after we finished. You, you need one egg beaten, so you have to beat it up. Beat the tar, take it out back and rough it up a bit <laughs> before you add it to the, the mixture. Okay, so we ate it and then we ate the one with the recipe. We're just like, mmm, so good. And this is why we follow recipes, kids. Lesson learned. <laughs> yeah. Can you keep my three in it? Yeah. Okay, so this, that's why you should use a recipe. Yep. We can find a recipe. At first, so do you know what we just did? We just thought up of what we would need, and what you thought you would do. Yeah, and my friend, she said we needed like the big thing of that of baking Ooh. soda. Okay, and now we need one teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla smells really good. So but good. Tastes really I know. Bad. Why didn't I get the big bottle? <laughs> okay, so we mix that in. Okay, and now we need a teaspoon of, <coughs> not coughing, of baking soda. I went this way. Okay, so we take the teaspoon, sprinkle it in there. 
and mix de mix de mix. This is what it looks like. Now we need a cup and a half, oh wait, of flour, but first a pinch of salt. Just a pinch of salt. So a pinch of salt basically is just like that, like just a little bit, and then oof, in it goes. Eat salt. Salt, salt brings out the flavor. I know, but guys, don't eat salt by itself. It tastes bleh. It tastes bleh. It tastes like it can make you barf. Okay, so now we need a cup and a half of flour. And. Can I pour it in? Yeah, a good way to measure your flour yeah. is get it in there basically level. Use the flat side of a butter nice. knife and. Just push off the excess, the like so, and now you have a perfect cup. See, it's so beautiful. And, and we're gonna do that with the half as well. So, um, don't mix crazy, because it's gonna go all over the place, because flour is really light and poofy. Okay, here's the half cup. So beautiful, I have two hands. And here is what it looks like up close. It gets kind of tough to mix. I'm gonna oh have to my help. gosh! Oh. Hold on. oh my gosh. Okay. Huh? Gotta use the elbow grease. The muscles. Gotta use the muscles. Oh, before you start baking and mashing up bananas, wash your hands. Yes, lave les mains. Who knows where your hands have been? So now we just have to grease the pan. So Ali used whatever butter we have left over, and this brush we use for barbecue sauce and whatnot. So just brush. Make sure you get all the corners, all the edges, all the way up the sides. Do the whole thing. So next, we just need to add some flour and to shake it around inside the pan so that nothing sticks. So you yeah, shake, 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 shake. Make sure you get it up the sides. So tip it over a little bit to get up the, each side. So and you shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And then you turn it over and smack the back to knock out all the excess flour when you're done. It looks like this. It's lightly then, floured. Yeah. Then you pour in your mixture so of the So I've got myself a spatula. A spatula, a spatula. Let go. Get off my spoon. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend licking. That. Okay, so I'm just loosening it up the sides. All right. So now, Allie will hold the bowl and I will scoop. If I'm not strong enough. To Cat, quit scratching the table. I kill you. I wouldn't really kill her. Tip it more because it's not even coming out yet. <laughs> Oh, it looks like like move it closer to the. It looks like you beat you put a lot of eggs in there, then you just like ah, 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 beat them up. Took them out back and roughed them up a bit. And again, we rewashed our hands first. Okay, so then you just kind of spread it out like so, so it's all even in the pan. Okay, and the oven is preheated at 350 degrees. So it should now, be like this when you're done. Yep. Okay. Here's Ali Cat holding Now you gotta put it in the oven. But if you're a kid and you're with your mom or Adult dad. Adult supervision. Okay, on the top one in the middle. Don't touch the sides. Right into the center. Perfect. Good job. And now, I know, you get the blast of heat. Yep. So now, we're going to set our timer for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, one hour, which is 60 minutes. Timer. And you just wait your hour and it will come a beautiful crispy top and delicious. Halfway through the cooking and it's already risen pretty good. Just 30 more minutes and we will have some yummy banana bread, but it'll be too hot to eat for a while. So we have to wait. After it's baked for an hour.
shower. It looks like this. And it smells so good. Slice it how you want and enjoy. Now it is ready to slice and enjoy. It looks delicious. Can't wait to eat it.